Hi friends, so in this video we are going to continue the topic uh, computer arithmetic. So last lecture uh, we have seen that uh, the sign magnitude representation is having the drawback. Okay, so how to overcome the drawback? So there is a common scheme to overcome the drawbacks. Okay, so there is a, the common scheme is two's complement representation. So here how the two's complement representation will work. So here like sign magnitude representation. So here also the two's complement representation uses the most significant bit as the sign bit. So example of the four, uh, four bit representation if I saying that is a 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1. So one is the most significant bit. So that may, that represents the sign bit. So if the one is there, that is a minus, and zero is there, that is a plus. And next slide, we'll see the key characteristics of the two's complement. So there is a, these are the key uh, characteristics. One is the range. So this is the minus two power n uh, minus one through. That is a two power n minus one minus one. This is the range of the two's complement number number system representation. Then the number representation for zero. So in the sign magnitude, there are two representations for 0, minus 0 and plus 0. So that has been overcome. So here, there is only one representation for the 0. Uh, then the negation part, so example, how to take the negation. So here, you need to take the Boolean uh, complement need to be taken for the bitwise. So bitwise complement need to be taken. Then the additional, that is a 1, need to be added with the least significant bit. So this is the negation part. And the next one is the expansion of the bit length. So expansion of bit length means example, if the bit length is 4 to 8 bit length, if it is moving. So here, the expansion of the bit length. So here additional bit position to the left and fill with the value of the original sign bit. So example, you can consider the uh, 4 bit representation. The 4 bit representation you want to convert into 8 bit representation. So which bit is represented for sign bit, that bit will be filled with the uh, last 4 bits. So now if the uh, 4 bit is 1, 0, 0, 0 is the 4 bit representation. If you want to convert into 8 bit representation, so first you need to 1, 1, 1, 1, that is a 4, uh, four bit expansion. Then the original bit is 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is the 8 bit representation. So this is how the expansion of the bit length can be represented. Then the overflow rule, there are the two overflow rules can be considered. Here, one is the same sign with the representation. So, example, if you are adding with adding numbers, both the positive number or both the negative number. And the last one is the subtraction rule. How the subtraction can be done? So, okay, so example, you need to take the uh, first one, subtract the B from A. So, here, how it can be subtracted B from A? Okay, so the take the two's complement of B, then add it to A. So this is how the subtraction can be done. So this is the, these are the key characteristics of the two's complement representation. And now this is how the two's complement will be taken. Okay, so here this is the one. So minus three and my, uh, sorry, plus three, plus two, plus one and zero, minus one, minus two, minus three. So these are the sample representations. Okay, so find how the two's complement can be represented for minus one. Okay, so now this is the one, this is the value that is the 8 bit representation. So here 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1. So this is the one representation. You need to take the uh, bitwise complement for the this 8 bit representation. So you need to bitwise complement means, so 1 need to be represented in 0. All other zeros need to be converted into 1. So this is the bitwise complement and add 1 to the least significant bit. So here the 1 will be added here. So this is the representation, that is two's complement representation for minus one. So this is how two's complement will be represented. Next slide, we'll see the benefits. So here, these are the benefits. One is the one representation for zero. So this is the uh, major benefit. And arithmetic, arithmetic works easily. So with the two's complement representation, the arithmetic operations are a little bit easy. The neg negation is uh, fairly easy. So how the negation part, if you want to take negation, that is very easy. Okay. So Boolean complement will give like this. And add one, uh, that is a one to the least significant bit. Then you can get the value of minus three. So this is the benefit of the two's complement representation. So the next two slides will see the negation special cases. So this is the negation special case one. So if you want to represent zero, and if you want to represent that is a minus one, that is bitwise complement you need to take. Then add one with the least significant bit, and this is how you'll get the minus one. 
So minus 1, so this is the overflow bit, so this bit will be ignored and then again you will get the same 0 for minus, minus uh, 0 also. So this is the same for the special case for uh, negation 1, negation 1 special case and negation special case 2. So here minus 28 if you are taking, so this is the value for minus, uh, minus 128 then you need to take the bitwise not so this is how the bitwise negation will be uh, complement will be taken then add one with the least significant bit and this is the result so both uh, minus 128 if you are taking two's complement the two's complement representation also will come the same same value will be there so this is the negation special case 2 okay so these are the two negation special cases and range of numbers how so example if you are taking 8 bit two's complement representation so this is the uh, plus 127 into minus 128 so this is the representation 2 power uh, 7 minus 1 and minus 2 power 7 this is the range and if you are converting into the 16 bit two's complement representation so this is the range for 16 bit two's complement re representation okay so this is how the length can be varied from one representation to another representation then uh, converting between the length okay so length example if you are representing uh, plus 18 uh, with the 8 bit representation and uh, plus 18 with the uh, 16 bit representation so this is just this is the consideration here uh, this is the 8 bit representation and this is the 16 bit representation so only thing this is the sign bit need to be filled with the uh, remaining uh, filling number filling bits okay the same it can be considered here minus 18 this is the minus 18 so this is the sign bit so here if you are converting into 16 bit representation this sign bit will be filled with remaining bits so this is how so this converting between the lens so if you want to convert between 8, 8 bit representation into 16 bit representation so this is how the length will be converted okay and next one is addition how the addition can be done here okay so normal binary addition so overflow rule will be considered here so only thing uh, if any addition the result may larger than can be held in the word size being used so example if you are using uh, four bit representation for the addition if the while you are adding two numbers if the bit is that is the overflow bit is going to the fifth position that is called overflow so that consider that uh, bit may not be considered for the result okay example you just consider here these two are the these two are the past two numbers uh, 5 and 4 if you are adding these two numbers so here this is the overflow bit why it is saying overflow bit so here this is the uh, sign bit so if the sign bit in the sign bit if the value 1 comes that may be represent the minus value so this result won't be considered so this is called overflow so this one may, this kind of representation or results may not be considered for positive and both the numbers are negative so at that time also this overflow bit will come so example if you are adding these two values automatically this overflow bit will come so if the overflow bit is beyond the regular size so the four bit representation need to be there but it goes to beyond the uh, beyond the representation of four bit so this kind of result also not considered for the addition so otherwise all other numbers are same all other results are considered for the binary addition in this slide we will see the subtraction example so two examples are shown so here both are minus sign five minus 5 and minus 2 the result will be minus minus 7 okay so here also this is taken so 2's complement will be taken for minus 2 then that is added with the minus 5 okay so here overflow bit is coming but this is ignored so this is the value of minus sign minus 7 so this example will be considered the result will be considered but in this uh, example if you are seeing both are minus sign if you are taking the uh, minus 4's uh, 2's complement, this is the result of minus 4's 2's complement. If you are adding, so this is the sign bit is not there, but so this is the extra bit is coming. This is the 4 bit representation, this is the overflow bit. So in this result won't be considered for the subtraction. So this is the two example for subtraction and this is the way the subtraction will be happen. So the subtraction will be happen will be carried out by addition. Here the second value will be converted into two's complement then added with the first value. So this is how the subtraction will be carried out by the with the help of two's complement. 
and this is summary okay so what is two's complement we have discussed then characteristics of two's complement we have discussed then uh, benefits of two's complement we have discussed and then two special cases that is a negation cases we have discussed that is minus 0 and the minus 128 then the different bit lengths example the range also we have seen and also converting between the bit lengths that is if you want to convert from 8 bit to 16 bit length then that is also we have discussed then addition we have discussed and last one we have discussed about the subtraction in the both the addition and subtraction we have discussed about that is the overflow bit so overflow bit may be may not be considered during the the result may not be considered during the both the numbers are positive that is a or both the numbers are negative so this is the summary about the two's complement representation thank you